Dear friends, hi, this is Nick Polyushkin. We haven't been here for almost a month because I was traveling for business. Now I'm back, Elvis. Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you I, was, I was afraid that I will leave and nothing will happen, but look what Elvis did. So this is amazing. So tell us, when last time we, we were here, the first level was poor. I was with Raul, you were yes. not here. Mm -hmm. The first level was there. We went on the second, on the first floor, I think, over there. And then now you pour two more. Two more levels. The hard floor was the, the first floor. Yeah. It's a higher elevation and we have to go higher. Mm -hmm. Once that is done, it's kind of like a repeat work. Yep. Because the third floor is about a mirror from the fourth floor. Exactly. We just get all the all the pool shore, we do the form, put the concrete, mm -hmm. and we, we do it now the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. The fourth floor is a little bit complicated. We can go up there and I can show you. I can't wait but to so go far, and check it out. So let's go walk the project climb the stairs and we'll start from the up up from the roof and then we'll go down let's go Elvis. okay so basically the that's the height over here will be that's the, the like this is about 18 feet 18 feet so this is going to be an apartment already it will be about 14 feet 14 feet clear Mm -hmm. That's very uh, good. That, that's very good, like ceiling height, spacious. Mm -hmm. But in these apartments on the first floor, the ceiling height will be crazy high. So these lofts and they will have access to the garden too, and it's it's going to be very nice units. So the apartments will be in the in this part. In this area. The, that's where the parking. That's where the parking will be. Mm hmm. That's when you get the parking right in this area. Yep. The stairs down. Mm -hmm. So here, how how are you gonna pour the, so you're gonna pour the concrete here or what what's gonna Yes, if you see that line, uh-huh, that will be the top of the slab. Oh so this by so you will you will start pour and that's it's gonna go From up. There here. down four feet, four inches. Four inches. So this whole thing will be poured as well. Yes. Even that area too. We but, have to still level that. Uh huh. Oh, over there too because mm -hmm. it's lower. We have to level that area, and that will be the parking lot. And w about these beams, so you will remove them before yes. you pour the first. Pour. Yes. This, they support like the. Right they now. support the all the floors. Mm -hmm. They call them post post shores. Mm -hmm. Post shores. This allow me to put the slab on top. Mm -hmm. The drawings, the. The number for the engineer mm -hmm. will calculate this. Mm -hmm. I have to have 100%, 100%, and 60%. Mm -hmm. That's every three floor to transfer the, the, weight the weight of the slab. So now we already have the cables. If you see the holes, mm -hmm. they usually be cables. I mean, uh -huh, you can there. see it up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we strengthen those cables, uh -huh. We get inspection and we cut them. And that's when the, the slab mm. work on itself, mm -hmm. holding the weight. Mm -hmm. But we still got to have this to carry the weight from the other one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, right now if you remove it, it's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> because you need mm -hmm. to tie up the, the, the cables inside. Mm -hmm. But how you, tie, where, how, you, how you tie them up? Where the... Through here. So you get a... Uh, and you tie them up and uh -huh. put them in there. And about the cables, like inside, will they inside? The so cable will be inside. The, the but, but how you make it strong? Or it's already in There's a machine, oh, it's machine? inside. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And the machine strengths those cables. Mm -hmm. Almost to the point they break. Wow. And they, they get like a, something really, mm -hmm. they give you the strength. All the engineers, the structure mm -hmm. engineer. Mm -hmm. They do the, the numbers mm -hmm. and they tell you the strength. Mm -hmm. the, you have to put every three feet, four feet, mm -hmm. or however. And there's two, they only, they always call it the uniform mm -hmm. and the bands. Mm -hmm. The uniform goes a certain way and mm -hmm. the bands go a certain way. So were there any issues with the pouring next two floors? So far, the, the cable was an issue. Mm -hmm. Because we have to redesign mm -hmm. the engineer. When you're drawing, 
is a lot different of what you're building. Mm -hmm. He draw on the piece of paper, so sometimes he forgot about the elevations. Mm. And we got the cables going down, but mm -hmm. the cable cannot go in down mm -hmm. and then like that, mm -hmm. because then you cannot pull Of course, pull you it. cannot pull it. And we have to do fix that. Do you talk to Wait, him? And, yes, yeah. it was a coordination. Yeah. He was pretty good. Mm -hmm. He actually is the one who got the who cook, yeah. And Mal we fix it. Uh, it Maldonado, goes... right? Maldonado, yeah. Yes, yeah. BBC. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the foam that we're talking about. It's going underneath the bathroom. Mm. That's a structure foam. Mm -hmm. So uh, we put the the slab on top. So this is going underneath the in the bathrooms, right? Mm -hmm and then concrete up top. Oh, concrete on top. But they go on, on the, do they go on the- On the slab. So, on the slab, ah, on mm -hmm. the slab, yeah. We had the meeting about that. Mm -hmm. It was that one of the things, one of the issues that we're talking about. But is it okay material to, oh, this made in Brazil. <laughs> this is Those the- Those are the plywood that plywood. I was telling <laughs> Brazil has a lot of wood. I know. We import doors from Brazil, <laughs> so. Okay. Oh, first time walking up the stairs. This is cool. We put the stairs the same time we put the slabs. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to leave everything, anything behind. I don't, I don't want a lot of mess. Yep. That's cables. Those are the cables. Oh, so we that's how the cables, you... We straight the cables, and then we put a grease cap, mm -hmm. and then we will cover this. I made this even and make it smooth and nice. Nice. This is this is pulled or no? The the, the side walls. Side walls they add panels or no? No, oh, those are pulled concrete. This is all, all mm. everything pulled. Everything is pulled there. The rooftop. Mm -hmm. Oh that's yeah, that's the those cable. are the cables. Now we had a machine to cut and it. we stress this cable. Yeah. Push it. Almost to pull. the point is breaking. And then we cut him. We have to get inspection, and that's it. This is crazy technology. I, I saw like few apartments building, they build through the block. We were... Now, from now on, it will be blocked. No, oh, yeah, go up. Mm -hmm. So we in the rooftop, this is a nice view. Yeah, remember, this will go up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it will go up because it's a roof roof system. Mm -hmm. Did you met? Did you meet with them or? Yes, Raul yep. is calling and we're going to meet. You see the cables now? Yep, 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 yep. After we stress him, the cables, we cut them, mm -hmm. we put the grease cap, mm -hmm. and we seal all the and we seal it. Yeah, but this is very nice open. But I think all this street is changing. They're gonna build like few more properties here too. Mm -hmm. And but the good thing is that that this way is unobstructed because school stadium, yes. mm -hmm. it will stay here forever. So that's why it's a very good thing. And this way, I mean, only if somebody start buying each individual condominium and like convert it to something maybe but no i don't think so it's all i like this part like all this greenery so this way is like you feel like you're in the forest and this way is the city next project we will do higher we higher <laughs> but that's you know zoning so every time you do the project you need to understand zoning here it was four stories yes. max height and um and for us, it's our first like multi-family, so we didn't want to go like crazy because no. But this is nice. It's best to you know the for us. The design was really nice. I mean, Modis did a good job. Yeah, doing Modis, the, our architects, they did the design. Did a good job. Actually, this is a place that I will buy mm -hmm. because the structural engineer, mm -hmm. I think he over overdid did yeah. the, the structure. That's what we yeah. spend a lot of money on the foundations. I know. They're, they're huge for this kind of building, so. But the building is, is very strong. Solid. Very strong, solid building. Yeah. Maybe maybe we will all live here. Yeah. <laughs> I like the loft. I, will, I would have like combined them and just keep a like, yeah, two it, bedroom or something like that. Well, you have a, a, at least like four two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's go check the lower floor. Can okay. we work for here? Yeah. So this is the second staircase. We're going from the fourth level down to the third level. So as you can see, mm -hmm. the plywood is the one who holds the concrete in place right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it will then we will remove it or it After will stay. After we stress the cable, uh -huh. we remove this. Um, we get the inspection. We send the. We always get a cylinder. Every oh, for the. Volcanoes. And we send them to a lab, mm -hmm. 
So whenever they come back with the result, and it's more than 3,500 mm -hmm. PSI per square inch, mm -hmm. so we're ready to just pull the cables. To pull the cable. Once we pull the cable, the, mm -hmm. the slab won't, it will work on its own, mm -hmm. meaning like he will carry his own weight and everything. So then we remove this. So no, after this will be removed, it's very good ceiling height as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we the, will the have... lower part will be this this part, but uh, that will be about nine feet. Uh huh. Oh, so this part is, but this is a corridor. I know some of the units are there too. Yeah. And this part <coughs> nine feet, and why? Ah, it's lower because of the roof. That's the balcony, right? Yes. And th this calls for pl plumbing, or yes. no? Yes. This is all the plumbing, <laughs> the drainage, they will be there. All the way down through that hole. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the plumbing will go. Pretty good. Oh, you put something like, like those. Oh, like this one in, inside and then, and then you take it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. We put this in the, right there in the plywood. And before why? we pour. This is for wires, right? Maybe. Yeah. Or, or this is for wires. This is one of these mm -hmm. that is underneath. Once we break it. Mm -hmm. Oh, once you break it, then it yeah, goes. It will be like that. So many little details. The construction is like crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you have to know where everything goes before you even have it. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to make a hole after that because there's a lot of cables and rebars and you don't want to mess with the structure. All the conduits, they are already pre-done. Pre, pre pre, pre -done. That's where, that's the corridor, yeah. Yes, in between. So Elvis, for the, for the last floor, what's, how long do you think it will take to, to do the block? So when the structure will be like, kind of completed with the... Now we have to do the blocks, mm -hmm. because those are the, the walls, they call it low bearing walls. Mm -hmm. Those are walls who carry the weight. Mm -hmm. So we have to put the blocks, mm -hmm. then we do the forming, mm -hmm. and then we prepare the slab. So the blocks will go into the openings? Yes, but uh, upstairs. Mm -hmm. Once we get a stress and we can be able to remove all this, mm -hmm. we're starting with the laying the mesh. With the laying mm -hmm. So when do you think you will start removing this one? I will say about 15 to 20 days. Really? Already? So next time we come, Elvis will be removing yeah. them already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them to remove. Mm -hmm. But here you already removed the plywood. Yes. So over here we also have the view on the stadium. Yeah, because first floor is high enough, so it's perfect. Now this is amazing progress. Mm -hmm. I love how the structure is already like up there and it's uh, been lots of work for sure. The transition in between the stairs, mm -hmm. we're going to have a door in here, mm -hmm. but this is flat, this is already done. Yeah. So if you have tile in here and goes about half inch, it's a trip hazard. And that's what I want to know all the finishing. So if I build this half inch, half inch higher, mm -hmm. whenever you get the transition, mm -hmm. it will be uh, smooth. Even, yeah, even. smooth. So we need to know what's, what goes yeah, here. Yeah, that's, that's what we had the meeting. If yeah. they say you're going to do carpet or something like that, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you, you won't have that big mm -hmm. transition from the stairs and the same thing happening inside the unit. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have tiles in the unit, mm -hmm. but I, then we do a threshold. Threshold, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Elvis, thank you. Okay. Thank Good you job. I'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> And hopefully all the shoring, I mean the shoring, post shoring, right? Yes. I'm learning so many words mm -hmm. now, it's crazy. We'll be gone and uh, we'll come back do another video and see the progress. Thank you so much for watching. This is Aventura Quattro construction project and uh, it's amazing, amazing multifamily. Soon it will be open for you tenants. So stay Thank tuned, you subscribe. Thank you, Alice. Thank you for the opportunity.